Welcome to another video guys. In this video what I wanted to do is focus on AnyDo. Now AnyDo have recently added a new update and it's 4.0. Now AnyDo is one of those apps that I have reviewed in the past. I focused on their premium experience but also some of their iOS and Android applications. They also have a subsidiary app called Cal which is basically their calendar experience. But in AnyDo 4.0 they basically bring three brand new items. So the first is a calendar experience. Now, the AnyDo application obviously does link up well with the Cal application, but now you can actually get all of your calendar events and tasks in one stream. From here, you can actually create calendar events and edit any of those experiences, which is perfect for anyone who likes to sort of blend the calendar with their tasks. It's perfect for those individuals that love the connect. But there's some negatives to this, obviously, when you are using the calendar experiences and they do, you sort of get a very the sort of fixed experience. You don't get to change any of the views and you only get this sort of like streamlined timeline of tasks and calendar events. So there is some negatives. They've added a feature into this calendar called one to one meetings. Now, this is very similar to Sunrise Meet. And from here, you can actually organize events. As you can see, I sent an invite to myself and made a few suggested times as it worked well. I really enjoyed using this. It, it was a very basic experience and a nice add on to this calendar. The next thing they've updated is the task sync. So obviously you've got tasks and calendar. You can then sync all of your uh, tasks and calendar events across the board. So when you're using your web or your iOS or your Android version, they'll sync up together, which is great. Now, I wasn't entirely impressed by the sync. It didn't seem to work on web as fluidly as they demonstrated, but maybe I was doing something wrong. I needed to have some more time with this, but the web experience didn't seem to link up with the iOS app as well as it should have. Now, the thing they've added to tasks is the assistant experience. So now you have the ability of joining a beta to the assistant. Basically, it allows you to complete low level tasks. Now, what I mean by low level tasks is if you enter something like call uh, your mum or maybe even buy flowers for your aunt, the system will help you complete this task. Now, obviously, that's quite low level because they can actually help you in this. So basically it opens up a chat bot, which offers some optionality and some questions that will help you actually complete the task. It's quite a nifty way and I see they need a long way to go, obviously. Um, and as they learn about your task, they'll adapt that, as you can imagine. If you're not an AnyDo user, you won't know that they've got notes and files attached to each of the tasks. You can do that. Now they've added video image tasks and they have integrations as well. Now tasks is something that was very impressive when I reviewed AnyDo before and they did a great job. It's a very simple experience. Now, the one thing they have is obviously themes. They've now got a button in settings called prefer home screen, which basically means you get to choose where your app lands on when you open it. Previously just landed on tasks, but now you've got calendar, which is pretty cool. They still have the AnyDo moments feature. Now this, you can get it appear recurring every day. Uh, the one thing that I didn't notice is its ability to access this from anywhere inside the app, uh, apart from the settings. So it sort of hides itself. This is a nifty feature which helps you organize your tasks for the day just by sort of forcing you to give an answer to all of your tasks uh, and helping you organize that. Very similar to what to do is launched in smart schedule, but less smart, uh, more sort of you doing the work. Now, they've also got completed tasks now available inside of the settings, which I think is not the great place to put them. Uh, they should sort of be available inside the app so you can see, as you can imagine, you can see all of the completed tasks you have done through the sort of ticked straight through versions, but this sort of isn't enough. There is also an Amazon Alexa integration, which many of the other apps are starting to do, which is an impressive integration. Uh, it works quite well. Now, there are lots of pros and cons to using AnyDo, and AnyDo 4.0 does add a lot more. It's sort of making itself a bit more usable for people as they start using a calendar and a task manager at the same time. Now, there were loads of pros to this. It was easy to use the calendar and tasks. If you're looking for something that does that, this is a great application for that. And the one-to-one -one meetings feature was very impressive. 
And although I'm not a fan of view options, I was impressed by the calendar's ability to scroll through some of the actual, um, you know, the events and be able to see that at a glance, which was quite nice. Now, the cons that I noticed is, you know, sync on web wasn't fast or seamless that it suggested. And maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe it's only mobile devices that it syncs fast on. Um, and the only other thing I would say is some of the features are hidden, but I can imagine why they're doing this. I'd recommend this to anyone that is looking for a really simple personal task management. Someone that will be using this outside of work and someone that will be using this on their mobile devices. It's a really great experience and they've added some lovely features in 4.0. I'll be featuring the AnyDo Assistant in another video when I get it working. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, do subscribe and like the video. And I'm looking forward to sharing a few more tech videos with you soon. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.